Okay, so here's me chopping the onions. And it was kind of hard. Like, the way they were cut, it was obviously not cut to make them thin. So, sorry if they don't look great. I really did try my best. But also, I want to put this thing out there. My brother is, like, near the same. Like, not the same. It's near the kitchen. So, he hear that, like, noise. People are screaming and talking. Too loud. The TV's on. My brother's talking. My dad's playing music downstairs. So, yeah. I don't... I couldn't really add music to it because I don't have Apple Music. So here's my main music. Do 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 I think I cut too much because I was using two bowls. So, like, when one bowl was overfilled, I put the rest in another bowl with the garlic. And you'll see soon how I use, like, how I cut the garlic. It was probably not the best way to cut Because you can honestly tell I did it very wrong. Like, it was not straight up. It was down. It was my hand down. The technique that I was using my family. So, that's how I got it. But back to the background noise. Oh, I forgot that. So, if you see me about putting a lot of things to the side, it's a big counter, so I'm putting it behind it. So, like, after, like, you'll see in the next part how I put this stuff. Like, you'll see me put it in the refrigerator, I'll put it to the side because I want to put it away. Like, but here's me, like, peeling the garlic because I didn't like it the shell room. I think it does look like, I use one garlic. I found a sprout coming out, so I like it, so I got another one, it was the same thing, so I got a different one, it was different, but I try to use another one, because I only use two garlics, like, as full, but, like, the cloves, I only use two garlic cloves, they both, like, the one before, oh, it's me, it so the one I grabbed that didn't have the sprout, it was fine, I got another one, I didn't like it, and I got another one, it was fine, so I, got, I used that one, but, yeah, yeah. So back to the background noise and noise. I forgot to add when I was cutting the onions. Like I don't know where my eyes just started burning. Cause like I know when you cut onions, your eyes start to burn, but only that happens if you actually touch your eye and get too close to it. So when I was cutting it, like I was like, you know, my posture's fine, but you can't see my head. Like, I didn't know till the, the, the video was done filming, but. I had to like let my neck, like my head, pull it back, but also look down at the same time. But I think when I was itching my eye earlier, like I rubbed some of the uh, onion juice on it, so my eyes are like burning. So if you see me like back up or anything, like that's me trying to like trying to get my life, my life like trying to get straight, so I can like you know finally focus. I know you guys are finally waiting for the part where I actually do stuff. So here's me. I opened the chicken. I pre-washed everything. And when we dump it, I did forget what to season it. So, you know, I had to season it, but I had to it. So this is me um, putting it on medium or high, because that's what it told me, putting me high on my skillet. So at certain points, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, I put one, actually two teaspoons of oil. 
because my when I thought about playing one, it wouldn't be enough for the onions because I use so much. So, also, if you see a packet, it says salt. Apparently, I couldn't find salt in our seasoning cabinet, so I had to go through the drawers of for a salt packet and I find one. So, if you just see that, like it's weird and everything, but like that was the only thing I had. As you see, that was the bowl, like overfilling. I know my special is at the best, but that was the one I just picked out. We had like three, but that was the one I, I, I was using. So I used that one. So uh, me pulling out the pepper. And I couldn't find the salt. I literally, if you don't see me, I was jumping to find it. I'm kind of, like, I'm not sure, but our stool is in the bathroom for my brother. So, like, I was kind of looking for it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I hope we have some salt packets when we go to a drive this or something. Or, like, in the restaurants. So, it's a salt packet. But. Oh, boy, salt packets. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I have, like, it's like a recap video for me. But I just noticed right now, and you can see the movie in the back. The movie in the back is Sonic, one of my brother's movies so I see there's a salt packet I got it wasn't the best but I used it to my advantage as you can see I'm pouring it in there it was not cut gently but the way I did it it still came out great in my opinion I could have put it last but also I did say salted it so like you know like caramelized like brown like onions I put a little pepper and salt on it, a little bit of seasoning for that. Salt, because you got the little packet. I'm trying to be close to the packet. I would do it in like twice because it didn't want to like pour anything out. Mm -hmm. and that. That's me spraying it. I do say it's good that I remember that I kind of like it stiff with the mirrors. But then again, I could have kind of like burnt. It wasn't like really burnt, it was like black brown. It just wasn't like this. So I went to go season the chicken. Which is my mistake. The best moment for me, I couldn't really flip it over the camera. Flip over the camera because I was also dancing at the same time. So I'm trying to get the light brown. So as you see, the light brown. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Before the light brown, I left it a quick spot. But I took it off a little bit. So I should have like I thought about turning it off, but I'll like slow the process down. So I left it on. But you can see, okay, I'm watching a phone. I know it's like that, but I know like it was like those moms cooking and like, they didn't put it out of the wine glass. I was going to do some ginger ale. Because like, as you see, I like, now I'm dressing like I literally just came back from practice. So, like, I'm like thirsty and like really tired. You know, right now I'm going to do Yeah, ginger ale. Because I'm really thirsty and this is making me like hungry. So I was drinking even my cookie that I made earlier. So next it tells Ooh, us I did not know the pantry was open. To add on the next five. So I did not know that. We went to the boss and we skipped the cup. So we are gonna get, get the one cup straight to the one need two cups. So we're pulling in chicken broth. They add for low sodium broth. But we have we don't have so my so chicken broth. Chicken. So we might just use chicken the same thing at this point. So I'm using two cups of chicken broth. I cut it in more. Because when at the end, Six. the bottom, like all the chicken bot which absorbed the chicken. So I put it in like about like three cups. That's for two cups. I put it in three or four cups to 
give them more flavor. But, you know, you have to, like, just keep doing stuff. If you see a lot of my face, it's because I'm holding my phone. You know that stuff angle. Holding my phone, both points. If you see it, it's gonna cut it in half. So that's me cutting the chicken. It went eight pieces. Actually, I think I had four. It was chicken breast. And then I think it was eight pieces. I didn't tell me that, but that's stuff that I have, so I have to use it. So the chicken breast, I cut them into eight. And like, you see me stacking it. And you're gonna see seasoning it, but you know me not thinking. I forgot to season it before I put in the skillet. So I have to quickly season it, and that's how the onions got burnt. But you can see I'm cooking. I'm, the onions are still in the skillet. Well, cook. I'm ready for cutting chicken and seasoning it before I put in the skillet. I'm cooking, but mm -hmm. as you see me doing my, my, my the cutting Making chicken, I'm gonna have background music to get chicken. Stop. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we peel my hand, back over here. Okay, so now we're back. So this means I'm going to saute the onions. And like, you can't see my face, which I really am not knowing. As you can see, you're gonna mm -hmm. like, see how I accidentally burnt them. Cut a bunch of it. I accidentally burnt them, but it's okay. Gone for two seconds. So this is me about to pour the one the cup into the cup, the one cup, you know, cup. And I should have been thinking take it off everything so I can be prepared, but I was like, you know, kind of going for. So I poured it. I don't know how to take on the it. I mean, I thought it was typically stir, but I guess it's not. That's me pouring two cups of chicken broth. I get the bread. And soon you want to see me bring the chicken. Let's put the chicken in the plate. Oh, actually, I first put the lid on the top. Okay, wait, no, so you're going to have to redo the instructions again. Big cute. Put the chicken on top. Which I shouldn't have known because it's called Moroccan chicken with olives, but I'm not going to orange. It's just Moroccan chicken with lemons. So, um, that's me quickly seasoning it because I forgot to use it. To come out. Oh, I added yeah. pepper, Kanye pepper, cumin, cinnamon, ground ginger, and for a little bit of kick, I added some Creole seasoning, some it, I think it's onion salt, kind of it. some Maori season salt, some mm -hmm. rosemary, and some thymes because you get to get a little kick. I thought about adding some, um, this little chicken liquor my dad usually puts in it. Flip it over and let it go. It all kind of took off the, the whole point in making Moroccan chicken for the different flavor. The season I added, it didn't really, like, I'm going to say did something, but all there was, like, add a little bit more seasoning so it could taste better. But, I just need to bring it in marinating and quickly. Right. And you're going to see it, like, right? It's a little it's like it's so weird. Salt I just had salt and pepper on it. So but when I forgot to season it, I just threw the chicken in the yeah. skillet, season it right on top, of which actually was a good idea because it gave it more flavor and it looked really pretty at the end. So this is me using the instructions real quick. I'm trying to figure out what I gotta do. Ooh, my bun was on the peak. I actually like my bun. Ooh, and also my jacket. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Sorry, I had to mark myself quick. This I is me really squeezing the lemon. I kind of like improvised because I, I said I want lemon juice, but I had to squeeze one in this case. I actually like, like, don't want to squeeze it and see how it looks. But actually it was good because I had a flavor too. Do I believe I put four wedges of lemon, the lemon slices. I added four of those. I believe it equals a tablespoon. I'm not really good at math, so I wouldn't know. But I had a flavor either way, so I'm kind of happy about it. I'm cover it. Me putting a thumbs up, I know, like, it's going to be good. Got to fix myself. I had to find the right top, because the top we have, you don't need it. It's not so small, it still fits on certain things, so that's me with my favorite thing. When I finally found it, I put it on top, but that's when I regret it. So I'm like, wait, this chicken's out. Like, oh, wait, I forgot to put the chickens in. Take it down, but I got one more. That's me, kind of cold thing. I'll put the music on the mic. I'm something, but I can't think what. 
Look behind me, there's chicken. So I have to go quickly put the chicken in. But you're gonna see me, see me soon hesitate because I actually was hesitating because I forgot to put the chicken in. Okay. It's me hesitating because I forgot to put the chicken in. So I cut eight pieces. I kind of put it in like a circle and then one in the middle. And I cooked this for about for 25 minutes. I said 25 or 30 minutes. But I took my chances for 25 and I turned it over like that. So that's me putting the chicken in. I don't know why I'm using my fingers like that, but it was kind of like, I don't want to be seasoning it on the kitchen floor. So I use it like that. I'm sorry for your last smacking. I'm chewing gum. Wow, so I forced me using back. the kitchen towel I used earlier. This is what it looks like. Make the almond crust cookies. See, I put it in a circle with the one chicken in the middle. I'm not using the towel I used earlier to make the almond crust cookies. And we have to read the instructions again. Right? Okay. See, that's when I add a little bit of cumin. A little bit of cumin. You're going to see, I actually put a lot of carne pepper on it. So, to see the spatula, rub off that two chickens I put a lot on. I put on the other ones and put it in the um, chicken box. That's the paprika. I put the wrong size as a scoop, not the uh, season. You want to see, like, how I see that one little thing? I put a little bit too much. Too much. So, I'm about to grab the spatula and wipe it off. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Flip it over, you can see a pale little tree. That is ground ginger, which I don't know that ginger. Had. But at the same time, kind of, I'm not really surprised because I have everything. Okay. I was bread, so I forgot to open it. Did you? So that's me seasoning. I did not put a lot, but at the same time, I don't really care because you need flavor. You don't want to be better. You need flavor. So I added some of that. It's me grabbing the seasoning. Mm -hmm. I, I did a little, like, sweet kick. And that's me grabbing some Creole seasoning. I want to like more flavor. Recipe? I don't want to be like, I want some Moroccan dish, but I want a little bit more flavor. So it can be like really tasteful and really good. So I add a little bit of Creole seasoning. A little bit of garlic. My bad. Yeah, it's garlic salt. That was onion. Garlic salt. A little bit of seasoning salt. Some seasoning salt. I believe this one, I use rosemary. Little, little parsley. Oh my bad, not rosemary, parsley. Parsley. A little bit of parsley. It wasn't really coming in, so I still had to shake it like that. And last one, I put some thymes. I always had a little bit of rosemary thymes. I call them thymes. So I put a little bit of rosemary thymes. I thought about putting a bay leaf, but I think I was going to like, be over the top, so I didn't do that. I put the lid over the. I put the lid over the skillet and I let it cook for about 25 minutes. Oh my god, before I say it, when I put the, skillet, the lid over the skillet, I also was cleaning my mess. I never washed the dishes yet, but I was cleaning my mess up. That's what it looks like. That's the before. You'll see that after soon. Did 
Time to see the finishing. Oh, wait, I kind of need to talk though, so I'm gonna need this. We don't have like really? little stove things, little stove kind of things. I use oven mitts. I had really heavy empathy. Like, like if you saw it earlier, the sauce was like, there. So, but since it's been cooking so, so long, the look at it. The sauce is gone. Kind of looks burnt at the bottom, but you, you know, can that you, you can make the best of it. So I'm gonna take like, this. I could like three or four cups of the chicken bath to make it look better. Okay. It doesn't really matter if you don't taste it, really. Just me spreading it out. Got that old first, I grab a different pot. Take this. Down my, well, I'm not going to pour it much because it's the same pot. Pepper. That's more just to wash. That's the pot I grab. I'm going to flip it over so it can look and nice. That's the pot with the chickens in. But we finished it. So I'm going to bring you back. We're going right here how it looks. Bring you back right here. Sorry, I'm going to get it looks like back to back. I think. That's me flipping it back over. It was kind of like burnt. Well, certain times it was not really burnt. It was like a crescent burnt shape, but it was really good. It was really like, like you know how they're saying it falls off the bone? It literally fell off. Like it was really good. If you add a little lemon to it, it would taste really good. If you have a little bit of lemon, um, spicy sauce, anything like this. But it was really good. My dad liked it. He smelled things like that. I'm taking a quick break. So he ate. Like, I started with eight chickens, like chicken breasts. Now I only have four. That's me adding lemon to the finishing touch. I'm gonna lick it. And then I got a little sauce on my jacket I just bought. And I started eating it off. Don't mind me. I know we all do it. So don't come at me. Don't come for me. Yeah, I'm not really just gonna wash this. So it can like, be fine. Better That's me kind of being mad because it's brand new. But. It's fine. I can do this soon. I'm trying to wipe it. It doesn't come off, so I'm just going to wash it. Make it look fancy. And you're going to see soon how it looks. I really recommend this for other people. It was really good. I prefer using four or three cups of chicken broth. And that is our finished product. A Moroccan chicken with no olives in my family. But what I it means? I thought about using almonds. Peace out, and I'll see y'all next time with another the show. And that was the cooking show. I have a YouTube channel. And we have Goose Music. My dad is doing a project downstairs. That's his motivation music. So I'm going to take a piece That's of this chicken. Good. Look how good that looks. That looks perfectly clean, right? Look at that. Bird. Look at that. I like when it was burnt, it wasn't really burnt, but like, like it pretty, was, and look at the top, like, yeah. it looks so pretty. It feels good. Oh, and it's tender, look how the way it fell off. My dad, because so, he's like, he's for me, I don't really look good right now. Also, he was building his dish, he just ordered. So, mm. That's good. Take a piece of the... Oh my god. I'll pour it over here. I'm sorry, I'm smacking so good. This is good. This is a good dish to make. See y'all next time. Here's the finishing product. That is the Moroccan chicken. As you can see, I did not add olives because I'm not a fan of it. But I added a little lemon for decoration. Thank you for watching. I didn't mean I used it for decoration. I meant to say, like, I used it to for, like, you know, like, a little presentation. I was thinking about presentation with the lemons. But 
Yes. Thank you for watching.